tools required for installation are 3 8 drive ratchet, 3 8 drive 6 inch extension, 10 millimeter deep socket, 13 millimeter deep socket, and some pop clip pliers. Not provided is a 36 millimeter fan removal tool. Install time is two hours. Install difficulty level is a three out of five. Loosen the coolant drain plug from the bottom of the truck and allow coolant to completely empty into a container. Remove the pop clips from the plastic shroud. Loosen the clamp on the upper radiator hose and disconnect the front end of the hose from the radiator. Loosen the clamp on the back end of the upper radiator hose and remove the hose entirely. Remove the pop clips from the plastic under tray beneath the truck. Remove the bolt securing the bottom of the radiator to the power steering cooler. Using your fan removal tool, loosen the fan nut. Disconnect the fan shroud. Undo the push clip that holds the fan shroud connection to the plastic fan shroud. Remove the bolts holding the fan shroud in place. Remove the fan from the engine bay. Remove the fan shroud from the engine bay. Loosen the clamp on the lower radiator hose and disconnect the hose from the radiator. Disconnect the small overflow hose from the top of the radiator. Remove the bolt securing the radiator to the radiator support bracket. Remove the radiator from the truck. Remove the rubber grommets from the upper mounting points on the factory radiator. Install the removed factory rubber grommets onto the Mishimoto radiator. Carefully put the Mishimoto radiator into place in the engine bay. Reinstall the bolts securing the top of the radiator to the radiator support bracket. Reinstall the bolts securing the bottom of the radiator to the power steering cooler. Reinstall the lower radiator hose and secure the hose clamp. Place the fan shroud back into the engine bay behind the radiator. Place the fan back into the fan shroud. Thread the center of the fan back into the fan mounting point. Reinstall the fan harness connection into the side of the fan shroud. Reconnect the fan harness connection. Reinstall the fan shroud mounting bolts. Reinstall the plastic under tray beneath the truck. Reinstall the upper radiator hose and secure the hose clamp. Reconnect the coolant overflow hose to the top of the radiator. Reinstall the plastic shroud. Loosen the coolant bleeder valve.
Remove the radiator cap and refill the cooling system with Dodge Cummings approved Dex Cool Extended Life Coolant. Use a 50-50 mix of water and coolant. Start the truck and turn the heat to high. This will help bleed any leftover air from the cooling system. Once the system has been properly bled, secure the coolant bleeder valve screw. 